What is up, guys? We have the owner, Miss Aisha Kadar of Shaw's Creations today. We're going to talk about hair loss. Um, this is something that a lot of people struggle with. I'm seeing it more and more nowadays in men and women that are like young, like young people losing hair. It's something you really just used to see like with, with older individuals. But um, once again, I'm not the expert in that, so I'm going to give it over to you and let's talk about hair loss. All right, good um, evening. Good evening, first of all, to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. Yes. And to all the fathers that are playing the mother's role, happy Mother's Day. Because there are fathers that are doing the mothering and the fathering of the kids. So we yes. got to give props to them. And But all the women out there, I give you all props. Welcome, welcome. Um, the reason why we're doing, oh, I just don't like, what did I just do? Oh. I need my screen. The reason why, um, oh boy, don't tell me my screen's not going to come out. Your screen went out on you. <laughs> it, it went out on me and it just came right back. Thank God, because I got all my notes over there, okay? So, <laughs> so one of the reasons why I'm doing today's show about hair loss is I love skin. I love to learn. I love to research and I love to learn about things. So when people give me uh, assignments, because a lot of people is calling me, like, Miss Aisha, why? You know, Miss Aisha, why? So all gets was hair loss. And but the last few years, maybe 10 years ago, I started going through hair loss myself, thinning of the year. So I started to figure out what can I do to make that, you know, I you can't stop it. I don't think you can, but I think you can slow it down. So what I did was I started making hair serum. So that's how come I got into the hair. But a lot of people have been asking me for hair grease, hair this. But I I mean, I've been thinking about it. I may do it here, here line. I don't know because. I think I'm all of a skin, and but hair is also part of your skin. So I've been thinking about it. Maybe I will do a hair grease or something for dreadlocks because a lot of my friends that have dreadlocks have been bothering me about something for dreadlocks. So I, I did a few research, and I like to go by places I can credit, like um, the American Association of Hair, of hair Loss. And then there's also the Mayo Clinic that did a wonderful st study. And um, I wanted to really do that so I, I like to go to people that are credible so that my when i do research i can follow their trends so anyway so hair loss can um can affect just your scalp or your entire body have you ever met people that you know a lot of us when we think about hair loss we're just thinking about hair loss on our head we yes. don't see hair loss like i used to be very hairy on my arms when I, before I noticed my hair was going, that's the first thing that I noticed started going. And I was hairy on my legs. And I don't have no hair, I, no exaggeration. I wouldn't shave my legs for at least 15 years and no hair don't grow there. Wow. Same thing happened to my arms. So those were two hair loss that I appreciated, but I didn't appreciate the third. The third was happened to be thin of my hair. I appreciate the other two, but I did appreciate the third. Okay. Hair loss can that just is, doesn't happen to your scalp, but sometimes to your entire body. It can be the result of heredity, hormonal changes, medical conditions, or sometimes even the medications we take. That one I wasn't prepared to see when I yeah. that. Medication can cause hair loss. I was like, well, then, then I don't know. What, what are you going to give up for, the for you know? What, what, right. what, what, what care are you going to give up for your hair? I started thinking about I know people do get hair loss from... Um, like the treatments of for cancer, when they go get the cancer treatment, I know a lot of people get hair loss from chemo, but I wasn't thinking about it past chemo. Okay, so um, medication, anyone can experience hair loss, but it's mostly common in men. And now, as the times are years are going by, it's very noticeable in women now. There's a lot of women that are going through hair loss. Um, some of them is apathetia, apathetia. Some of them is just stress. But there's a lot of women now going through hair loss. Baldnessness typically refers to excessive hair loss from the scalp. Heredity, hereditary hair loss with age is the most common cause of baldness. Some people are born into a family where it runs in the family. You can... Say, okay, from Uncle James or Grandpa James to Grandpa James to Grandpa James, James bye -bye, back, hey, they all were bald, you know, so yes. baldness may run into a family. Then also sometimes baldness can run and jump generations. Oh, really? I did not know that. Wow. So even though it can be hereditary and it's every generation, it can skip generations also. So some people may be lucky and get skipped. 
you know, why didn't I get that lucky, right? But you get lucky <laughs> if it's because it's hereditary in my. But I seem like I'm the, yeah, my two sisters don't and two of us do. So it's, it's, it's skipped. So there is some baldness that's hereditary and it doesn't be consistent like every year, every generation. It skips generations sometimes. And I found this, out, I mean, really, I thought it was amazing. Okay, some people prefer to let the hair loss run. It's caused untreated. And some people will just hide it. Some people just don't care. Like, I'm losing my hair, I'm losing my hair. They, they open about it. Others may cover it up with hair styles, makeup, hats, scarves, and some actually do the toupee. Yes. You know, some people do the toupee or, or hair pieces. And still others choose one of, the, of any other treatment that's available to prevent the hair loss and to restore and grow more hair. Before pursuing hair loss treatment, you need to talk to your doctor. You need to make sure that this is the right treatment for you. That is one thing we need to do. So symptoms, all right. Hair loss can appear in many different um, ways. Depending on what's causing it, it can come all of a sudden, or it can come gradually, or it can come temporary or in spouts. Like wow. for instance, um, when I started getting thin, I was noticing it was just right here. Then all of a sudden I started noticing the other way. Then all of a sudden I started receding. Even though I'm, oh. I'm, I'm thinning, it started receding right at the same area. I'm like, wait a minute, you can go receive somebody else. I can, you know, just cover my face, my, 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 you know, but that's how it is. Okay, <laughs> so, so hair loss will appear in different, in, it will appear in different ways, depending on what causing it. And some of it might be all of a sudden, some of it might be gradual and, and affect just your scalp or your whole body. Sometimes of sometimes the hair loss can be temporary and sometimes it can be permanent. And the permanent was what drives us crazy. Signs and symptoms of hair loss may include gradually thinning on top of your hair. This is the most common type of hair loss affecting both men and women as we age. Um, hair often begins to recede from the fall line or the forehead in a line as thin as cannot even be visible to the you know naked eye, but you can feel that it's not as full as it used to be. And women typically retain the hairline of the forehead or have been foregoing some parts because of braiding. And that's uh -huh. one of the biggest issues we have with women. We be braiding and before you know it, you they pull your hair so tight to make sure that you know all them baby hairs, you losing your, your hair as you go along. Okay, and on the other way, the other thing about it is, is circular or patchy bald um, spots. Like what does it mean circular? Like you might have a whole circle right there. All little patches all around and all this is all part of hair loss. Trust okay. me when I tell you. Okay, so sometimes you have patchy or circular hair loss and this affects women or men. Sudden, sudden loosening of hair. A physical or emotional shock can cause your hair to loosen a um, handful of hairs may just come out. I remember uh, one movie I was watching. The lady was in the shower. Her hair just came falling out because she was going through so much stress. So wow. some people do do that. Chunks of hair and patchy hair can just happen just from stress. And um, full body hair loss. Some conditions and medical treatments such as chemotherapy for cancer can result in the loss of hair all of a sudden all over your body and air all at once. So you, that also can happen. Patchy or scaly that will spread over the scalp. Maybe stand as a little sign or like a ringworm or then maybe a redness or broken hair tissue and a swelling and all of a sudden it's kept moving around. So by the time you know, you got a whole area that has no hair at all. Wow. So when do you need to see a doctor about this? Okay, see your doctor if your child or yourself has gone through distress where your hair loss you have tried everything to pursue here to grow back and they haven't grown back this is the time for you to seek medical attention there's a lot of stuff out there that you can buy that can help you to regrow hair or rejuvenate the hair follicles to come back okay typically people tend to lose their hair hundreds of hair strands at a time even in that hundreds of hair strands at a time so, so I, I can be losing a whole bunch you don't even know you don't even realize it little. Yeah. And so in, in that area, when you're losing all that hair, this 
unusually doesn't cause but unnoticeably thinner of scalp hair because as time goes on you gradually see thinning patches of hair around your head all this is part of hair loss hair loss occurs when this cycle of hair growth and shredding is disrupted by a hair follicle that is destroying and being replacing around those tissues so if you got a few follicles that are really something's wrong with them and you you know they could actually affect the next year follicle next to it can you imagine wow so that's how one of the reasons why um people always say ring rum is terrible for your hair and that makes a lot of sense family history also some people have it in their family some people go through hormonal changes medical conditions medications they've been going through uh radi radiations that may be going through and um, very stressful events and some of you know some of us don't really prepare ourselves for this so what are our ri risk factors a number of factors that can increase your risk for hair loss includes family history of baldness either in your father on your on your uh, father's side or your mother's side your age you significantly lose weight can you imagine I have heard of that. I have heard of I that. I know that. Yeah, if you if you lose it all at once, yeah, I've heard that. They, yeah, they, you're high risk. Can you believe that? And um, certain medications you might be on, diabetic uh, medications, and people with lupus. Can you believe that people with lupus lose uh, a lot of hair and stress? So what can you do to prevent um, some of these issues? Most baldness is caused by genetic male pattern baldness and female pattern pattern baldness this type of hair loss is not preventable and that's something so if god has said you're gonna be all you know you can do about it <laughs> that's something. so if it was in your cars that you're gonna be bald and genetic genetically that's it that's, that's it nothing. yeah there's nothing you can do that can prevent it of course you can go have hair transplants do other things but you are going to get the baldness if it's genetic these wow. uh, these tips may help you avoid avoid preventable types of hair loss avoid tight hairstyles such as braids buns and ponytails oh they don't hear you they're not gonna stop wearing that <laughs> <laughs> but those are the reasons why we bald we we use these tight hair so avoid tight hairstyles they're not saying you should not do the hairstyles just Tell, tell the hairdresser, just loosen it up a little bit. Avoid tight hairs, such as braids, buns, and, and ponytails. Avoid compulsive, compulsively twisting, rubbing, or pulling on your hair. I have a niece that does that all the time. She sits, little girl, she sits and does that. So really? I don't, I don't hear, no hair. Yeah, she's always twisting her hair. She takes it and curls it up, and she got long hair, so she does that. Mm. Uh -huh. So she, you know, so avoid compulsively twisting rubbing or pulling on your hair treat your hair gently when washing and brushing it a white tooth comb may help prevent pulling out your hair avoid harsh treatments such as hot rollers curling irons hot hot oil treatments are good and over excessive palming so sometimes we go get a permanence, we go, it's not even time. We want to do the whole thing. So all that can help. Um, if you don't go as much or you just go and do your, uh, the roots that need it, not the whole head, you'll see that your hair loss, you can, those are ways you can do to prevent. Avoid harsh chemicals, have harsh treatment. Avoid medications and supplements that could cause hair loss. Okay. Protect your hair from sunlight and other sources of ultra late, ultraviolet light. Stop smoking. Oh, no, they did not. Yeah. Studies show an association between smoking and baldness in men. Mm. I didn't know that. If you have been treated with chemotherapy, ask your doctor about a cooling cap or a cooling cap. This cap can reduce your risk of losing hair during chemotherapy. Do you know that either? Through research, I found that out. And last but not least, always moisturize your hair do not wear something tight on your head to go to bed and if you're going to use a headband please make sure it's silk because it helps to make sure that you don't pull on your hair follicles so you see with the research i learned we all learned right yeah so, so when you guys ask me questions if i don't know i ask my chemist if I, my chemist tell me that's not my field ask my clinician if she tells me that's not my field i go 
I go, um, do my research. Yep, smoking what? She says, I don't know. Yeah, just say smoking, okay? Yeah, so that's your smoking. business, whatever you're smoking. <laughs> whatever you're smoking, just say smoking. That's all we know. But I wanted to do that. And I told you guys we're trying to do 30 minutes or less. So I wanted to, for, uh, like I said, wish you all a happy Mother's Day. And every front um, front, um, front row walk, as I call them, people that are in the forefront that are giving of themselves to make sure that we are all protected. We applaud you. We we cannot humbly tell you how thankful you are. Without you guys, our system doesn't run. So I wanted, to, I wanted to do something special for you guys today. So for the mothers out there and for the frontline workers, I am going to put something really, really cool on. And all you got to do is pay for your shipping. Okay? Oh. Nice. So I'm gonna do a freebie, so we're gonna go through them quickly. Um, so I wanted to do three soaps, so we're gonna do three therapeutic soaps. Each one of these, this is JJ's Love, this is Lily of the Valley, and I think I'm going to do also not I think I'm gonna do honeysuckle twins. So you're gonna get three soaps that's thirty dollars. And oh, these are the soaps that you need now. Understand these are antibacterial soap. Um, anti-inflammatory soaps and moisturizing. These are soaps that will, you can benefit from during this time of year. So and you, do, you use it all over your body, right? All over head to toe. You're gonna get three of these soaps, so that's thirty dollars. So you're gonna send me twenty nine ninety nine. You're gonna get the rest of everything. So these are thirty dollars for the three soaps, and this is my power wash. If you don't know about this, you should know about that. This is my power wash. Pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, it tones your skin. It's, a, it's a also a exfoliating wash, but uh, every day. It's mild enough for you to use it every day. It's a powder form. All you need is a little, it goes a long way. It normally comes in eight ounces. I made this just for you guys today. This is 16 ounces. So the eight ounces is $49.99. So 16 ounces is what? So that's $100. Right. So you're okay. going to get the whole soap. This will last you forever. So you're going to get the soap. Four hundred dollars. The three other soaps. That's one thirty. And I'm also going to give you a lotion, a thirty dollar water lotion. So that's one sixty. And since we were talking about hair loss, I'm gonna throw in a hair loss serum for men, and one for women. Well, you're gonna get only one. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta specify <laughs> if you're a man or woman. If you want the, if you want these. If you don't want them, don't make me send it for you. So that's the women one. These are um, $39.99. Put them on sale on the website for $29.99. So you're going to get one. So you're going to get $200 worth of stuff from me today. So, and nice. that's the men. so you're going to get $200 worth of stuff um, in a package. All you got to pay for is $29.99. Does that make sense? I, I don't like to come in if I don't give you guys. It does. You, you're, you're giving a lot away for only $29.99. Yeah, all you got to do is $29.99. Somebody got, I got to pay somebody to post those orders. So I got, you guys are paying her. And then you're shipping because I gotta nice. pay that for orders. So when she's pulling free B orders, it's not part of her job, it's part of you know me and you guys trying to um just get together. And I wanted to tell you guys that are that are entrepreneurs that don't believe that their things can happen for you. I'm gonna share a little story with you. Oh, they can, they can. Okay, so now I am a small um registered Montgomery County Marin entrepreneur manufacturer and I was sitting here minding my business and I saw on uh, somebody's Facebook, you know, the fed that they've given me money to make hand sanitizers. And I didn't even know about it yet. So I wow. saw the social media first. So, and in other words, I'm trying to tell you that if you have a dream of becoming your own business person, you want to do your own business. Don't let people hold you back. Um, small business bureau is, is the SBA is very, very, very good. You need to reach out. You need to reach out to um, SCORE, um, S-C-O-R-E. SCORE is a um, senior citizen that retired that will teach you how to do your own business. I struggled to start this because I was being selfish. Or I, I was being self-centered. I didn't want to go. But when I started going, things started opening up for me. So Montgomery County is the county where I live. And all this money that we're hearing circulating in grants. And, and um, so I just got a nice size grant. I'm not going to tell you how much, but I just got a grant from the Mon Maryland and Montgomery County in Economic Development and Women's Business Center to make sanitizers. So these are my sanitizers that I made. And I want to show you guys. Wait, let me go. Come on now. I know y'all need that out here right now. 
Okay, so I made those, and that's a small one that you can put in your pocket if you're going to work, you're going out. You can just, if it's right, it isn't cute, but I cannot sell them very, I cannot sell well, the county because it's a, it's a grant from the county to provide for the search, to make up for the search age in the country. So every county is not giving money to man, local manufacturers say, look, come on board, help us make these things. And so they ask you not to sell them high. They don't tell you you don't have to. You can sell them high if you want, but they ask you, it's a grant. You don't need to build a house. You don't need it. So the, the, these are 1.75 ounce, no exaggeration around my area. These are going for $6.99. So these are $3.99. Wow. And then this is a three, I sent you some. I just sent you a package, mister. I sent you some. So these are um, three fluid ounces, and these are going around my area for $9.99 to $6.99. So you can get them if you want. You don't have to. They Trust me, they, they, they didn't hide the man. But the package, I figured, is Mother's Day. I wanted to say thank you to all the frontline workers. And, uh, of course, I wanted to share, to share my story and tell you that this can happen to you. Find your local... Uh, women um business centers they all over the country be a part of it you it's a lot of work you got a lot of do homework but if they're teaching you a lot you're learning a lot from them and when opportunities like this come i mean i have a center downtown that they are sponsoring also and this is another project that is sponsoring so it, it can happen you just gotta believe you just gotta keep going that's all you can't give up so if you've got a dream you want to be a business I, I used to mentor i don't mind mentoring one or two people but we all can't do this anybody we all need a second income and yeah. 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 second third fourth fifth and sixth yes. right? so <laughs> we're we gonna use it all up but i just wanted to come on today and wish you all a happy mother's day and um yes it was 3.99 was it 3.99 yeah 3.99 for the small one and 6.99 for the big ones nice. they are on my website they are on my website on the skin protection. They are on my website now. So they are all on my website. And then the next thing I'm making, which I'm still I'm, I'm beginning to make on behind me, is I'm making um hand disinfectant disinfecting uh, wash hand washes. So nice. I'm, so I'm gonna make liquid hand washes and then when I make it, I'll let you guys know. Absolutely. Okay. okay. We good. Yeah, let's see if we got any questions before we head out. If we got no questions, happy Mother's Day to you guys. Let's see. Does vitamin D help hair growth? That's one of them. Yes, vitamin D. Some people believe it does. I was reading on this uh, one of these research that it does. Okay, let's see what else we got. Diamond D said you're a blessing. Oh, that's really sweet. Thank you. Okay, let's see what else. Who else is going to come in? I see more and more people are starting to tune in to our Sunday lives, which is really nice. Yes. I didn't even notice that until you just said it. Well, this is our Sunday routine. We're going to be on here trying to pass education and see what we can learn from each other. I mean, if you got questions about skin, whatever your questions are, save them when I'm here. If I can answer them, I'll, I will. If I'm not, I'm going to find answers for you. What products do you have to remove dark spots? Um, I have a dark spot remover package. It's on my website. Um, if you want it, I'm going to give you a code. 2018-04. So you can get 40% off. There you go. So you can check it out. It's, dark, it's on the skin correction on my website. Yes, both of them do vitamin B and vitamin E does too. You're right. Shaw's commission code. All right, cool. I got that down. Uh, sounds too good to be true. I'm a believer. No, tr no travel products. No, they look. You have to have a routine. It's a regimen. You have to stay consistent. But it's real. Dark spot on your face. Um, I got it. That's what I'm saying. Yep, I got a dark spot package. It's on my uh, website. Does biotin help hair grow? You know what? Every place I looked, I didn't see 100% for me to tell you that, yes. But I've seen people that believe that it does help. Pin C said, where do I pay the $29.99? Uh, I got a cash app. And I'll put your I'll put your cash app in right now. Audrey, right. I got a pigmentation package. You can, If you want to get one, you can use the same code, 201804. So you can get a discount from the pigmentation package. I have a package for pigmentation also. Cash. Up. How do we get the Mother's Day package? 
um sims all you gotta do is cash up me or zail me 29.99 then you text me on my number which your full name and mailing address oh i'm looking for somebody named i'm sorry for blasting you out alicia levy i don't have your address to mail your package it's, it's been like a couple of weeks it's in a bag alicia levy alicia come get your stuff I know she paid me a couple of weeks ago. I don't, you know, I feel bad. What would she recommend for boys in pubic, pubescent arena? Okay. What, what? For what? For skincare yeah. for them? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you got to give us some more detail, S Sharp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give us, give us some more detail because, I mean, I don't know what else uh i don't know, know what else to say about that one <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> if it's for skin if it's for acne there's an acne package if it's for just dry skin there's a moisturizing package if oh skincare yeah i gotta figure that i gotta figure that um there is um there is a, a moisturizing package on, on that eczema and sciences don't don't let the name make you don't get them they're excellent for kids um before puberty that's that those are the things you need to get. There is an eczema package. There's a psoriasis package. I think I just put them for forty four ninety nine or fifty four ninety nine, but they're on sale. So you get the cream and the soap as a regimen. Okay, let's see what you can else. Call me for consultation. That's my number. Rob. Yeah, that's always good too, guys. Because everybody's skin is different. You, you're gonna need. Call me, and we can always give you. I always we can always talk it out, and I will give you my recommendation. I love when people call me. Don't think you're gonna be bothering me. Yeah. Call me. I don't answer. Somebody beat you to it, but as soon as I hang up, I'll, I'll respond to your call. Yep. Don't you guys love that about my sponsors? You can actually call them and talk to them. <laughs> I know, right? What's my website? Shazcreation.com. Okay, what else? I'm just um, putting it up for you. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, our moderators are doing uh, doing their thing there. And uh, well, I think we're gonna wrap it up there. I think I this think we, should, I think we should. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. We'll see you next um next week. Yeah, next yep. Sunday. And stay, you know, stay safe. Make sure you, you know, put in them. Mask on when you're going out and make sure you keep it at social distance. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. You guys have a beautiful, beautiful. Yes, I do take that because you can call me. <laughs> All right. I'll <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So we knocked out like three of our sponsored doggone videos today. Now, I wanted to also reiterate, oh, I joined late. What's the special? Okay, 40% off. Mother's Day package. I'm gonna give you the code though. The code is two zero one eight zero four. There you go. Okay, so now I want to reiterate with you guys that we will be starting the Storm Monroe Sponsor Hour, where our infomercials we call them ghetto commercials over here, but our hood commercials will run um, on a loop late at night. So that way, if you miss something, you can catch it. If you want to learn more about a product that you was thinking about, you never know who you may see. People will be promoting their pages, music, all kinds of stuff. And if you want to be a part of that sponsor hour to get a 20 to 30 minute spot to advertise whatever you have going on, email me or DM me because look, we, we taking them and it ain't as expensive as you damn think. So with that, guys, I got to go. I got to go eat dinner. We got Royal Housewives reunion. I got to watch. Then I got to watch Married to Medicine. So we got two reviews to do tonight. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. And I will catch you guys later.